Welcome to Two Local Radio. This is Ray Ray. This is Tempo with a T. This is Snow. And this is Chrissy D. And uh, first I want to apologize about the Jag Show. What happened was uh, the cord went, uh, you know, some wires went, and I had to replace them. Yeah, it happens, you know. And I didn't get back in time, and when I didn't, I didn't have enough to set up. I do apologize, and we are live. So, get over it. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Instead, we've got a comedy show going, I think. All right, well, what are we going to start with? We're going to talk about shit. You're the comedian. Shit. What kind of shit? A lot of shit. I had worm shit on me earlier. She did have worm shit on her. We went fishing. (laughs) Ew! Yeah, she ripped it in half to, like, put it on the hook. It splattered everywhere. She was in the front of the canoe, and I was in the back, and she's like, oh, babe, it's all over me, and, like, turned around with all up her arm and shit. Oh, <laughs> Why those bird shit on the stairs outside? So, okay. I didn't notice that when I came in. And, uh, you know, courtesy of our uh, buddy Brian, he's letting us uh, borrow an additional mic. Hey, I do appreciate Thank you, that. Brian. He's a really cool guy, too. I met him yesterday. You know, um, we, we appreciate it and everything. Uh, the other interview should be fine. Uh, we believe it's fixed. I'd say so. I mean, you know, on the way over here to the studio, y'all called me in the conference call, you know, and, um, yeah, I, I, was did... a- I was able to hear it back fine. Oh, you, you were, I didn't hear any like, uh, fuzz noise or anything. All right. That's good. That's always good. So yeah. Hey man, you know what? It probably will be fixed up, but oh yeah, we'll wing it if not. So, I mean, no, I'm talking about for the interviews the rest of the week. It should be fine. Oh, okay. So. Cool, cool. So, what are we going to talk about? Whatever you want to talk about. You're the How comedian. about some shit? Come up with some shit or talk about shit? We're really in a party atmosphere now because when you throw an additional mic and it's like... It's like, oh, God, what are we going to do? <laughs> See, Temple's our comedian, so that's why I said leave it up to him. Oh, man. But yeah, we have the old crew like just like here. That'll work. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I tell you what. Let me on the way over here to the studio. We had to stop and get gas. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about <laughs> you stopping getting gas. Yeah, I had to get a pack of cigarettes. Um, but as I walked in to pick up the cigarettes first, there was a big jacked up Dodge um, parked just on the other side of the pump. And um, as I walked by, you is know, my cigarette getting in your eye? No, no. I was like rubbing it. That's All right. All. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, went in, got the got the cigarettes or whatever, and started coming back. And I walked in front of the truck to get to my car. And the thing the thing is, is this girl on the passenger side said, "Hey, hey, 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 hey!" And I was like, look over, like she's like choking, having a seizure. What's what's going on? <laughs> and she's just like peeking through the window. You know, it's like half open. Half, like I guess playing peekaboo with me or something. I'm really not sure. She liked you. She um, liked you a lot. I'm sure she did. <laughs> I think she thought she, I, I think she thought you were Jim Carrey. <laughs> Maybe she thought you were sexy, man. <laughs> Let's go with the Jim Carrey part. <laughs> um, no, but as I start to like put my card in the pump, she's like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey!" I turn around and I look at her. She's like, "You dropped your hot dog." I looked at her. And I gave her a thumbs up. She's like, "You what? You dropped your hot dog?" And it's like. I don't, I don't, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have a hot dog in my fucking pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped your hot dog. You didn't even go in and get, get a hot it's dog. It's like no, bitch. If I dropped my hot dog, you would have came out of your truck and started eating it. No, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> and then so you then, didn't say anything. And yeah. Said, like, <laughs> so then, like, I started. Yeah, and I started. <laughs> yeah, I started uh, pumping the gas, and then like as her friend was in there, started yelling at me as well, and. uh they started driving off, and she just stuck her head out the window. You're supposed to have fun. Enjoy it. Laugh. It's like, you're not fucking funny. Why don't I laugh at dropping a hot dog? It, it sounds like they were high. Yeah, that's what Snow said. Yeah. <laughs> they, they must have been high. Definitely. They were on something serious. Bat salts. <laughs> no, they would have been trying to eat your face. Yeah, they would have been trying to come after you and eat you. <laughs> you know, we got plenty of music we could play tonight. What we ain't playing play? music. This is a comedy show. What Shut are you going to play? Wait a minute. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What about now? I still can hear you. Okay, that's good. What about over here? Oh, yeah, I can hear you too. <laughs> I can hear you just fine, Snow. <laughs> oh, well, we could play some uh, Insane Leos, or we could play some Mike Flows, or... Oh, everybody can hear us. Hey, you know we what? We play some JJD. You know what? Like, 
if I didn't want to like stink up the studio, I'd try to fart. See if I can hear it through this. <laughs> be something else like it. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna stink out the studio. <laughs> You'd probably gag. Yeah, I probably would. Ah, the yeah, fucking no, fart! No, I don't want to gag. Thank you. Oh man. So uh, I tell you what. Uh, what about what about last night? That was that was one hell of a cookout. What do you think? Uh, you know, I, I agree. And sometimes it's just good to you know sit back and be able to relax away from civilization and. Uh, the internet and all that, you know, away from social networks and just sit back and like have Chill a cold one. Chill out with one. some friends. Yeah, and have a cold a, one. Yep. Yeah, and drink a brewski. Why not? Just take it. Take it. One, or twelve. Well, yeah, or twelve. So good last night. One brewski at a time. <laughs> the cat did. Yeah. Oh, I bet Nick kept them busy. <laughs> I, I, w- I will tell you though. Uh, you know, Snow's burgers are fucking huge. <laughs> they and are, they're aren't good. They? I love hey, from my daddy. <laughs> Snow, tell them about what, what the idea you had uh, on the way back to the house coming from. Oh, so the next time we make burgers, I'm totally going to take a piece of cheese and put it in the middle of the burger and then like smush all the hamburger meat around it and pat it out so you'll have a different kind of cheeseburger. So, there you go. That sounds good. It'd be a cheeseburger. So for those listeners out there, it heard that noise that was her hands. She was, she was doing the, the patting the meat. I talk was, with my hands. Well, I heard it through there. It's, yeah, it's like I, I don't know if I heard it because we got these I didn't uh, hear it. fancy, like, well, I guess they're not that good. <laughs> Do it again. Do it, do it again. Do it. Did you hear it that time? Stop, Ray Ray. Do it. That's why. Yeah, that's it. Hear yeah, it. I'm telling you, I heard her. That's her. That's her, her sweatshirt. That's why. Hit her hands. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm not like smacking snow back there, am no, I? No, no, no. If I fall, I do apologize. I fell last night. <laughs> that would be all right. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny, though. He just I gotta, kinda... I gotta say that that's the first time I've seen anyone fall at the house. That I mean, I've seen people fall. Well, in, what, like, what the water it was? And mud. What but... it was? I was trying to hand off a beer, and when I was trying to hand off the beer, I lost. Balance. Balance. <laughs> and he like slid down a little hill. That was like his second beer, so he wasn't drunk. No. Mm. Well, well, my boy, my boy thought it was funny to take my laces. So <laughs> what? what? Out of his shoes. Oh man. So I had no laces. That's and... our son for you. So there's no traction. <laughs> he's a wild one. He's a wild one. Mister. No, it's more like he's a wise ass, like his father. Oh, so his tempo was like gonna like. You gonna sing for us? I, li- I like this. I like this three mics. No, I can't I sing. I can't. Sing. I-, I like this. I like the more mics. And yeah, we're gonna get more too. Yeah, let- let's yeah. have like eight mics. And <laughs> we'll put one in the studio closet over there where all the yeah. stuff. Are. <laughs> hey. Be like, uh... hey, Mister Ghost, you want something to say? Go ahead. Well, we only have four mic ports, but I'm sure we can find an adapter somewhere. Oh hell, we'll get something. There we go. He didn't want to talk today, I guess. All right, so, so uh, let's let's. Uh, well, here's the thing. Here's what I want to talk about. Last night, Temple had you know was talking about something that really touched me, and not like that. I didn't touch him. I didn't <laughs> touch him. <laughs> yeah, that did sound rather perverted. I didn't touch him. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just I'm I'm like words and shit. Yeah, I'm a touchy guy in words, but <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, but what I was saying was he was, you know, talking about, you know, we could have, you know, top of the line equipment and finance this and we'd be in debt for like ever, but we could, but it would not be too local. No, and it wouldn't. That's the thing. Like, it doesn't matter if you have, and this is what, you know, like I was talking about last night is it doesn't matter if you have like top of the line, max top of the line equipment. What a show is not made. A show is not made of equipment. All right, no. you, you need you need decent equipment like the microphones. They're working, headphones. They're working, computers but working. If nobody's talking into them, <clears throat> then you ain't got a show. Yep. See, snow. You heard snow. She's back there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you heard her. You, yeah. See, so you could tell who the really southern one. So yeah, and the thing is, is I mean, <laughs> she does <laughs> have a draw, doesn't she? Bad. Yeah, but you're more southern than all of us. <laughs> yeah, but I, the thing is, is like I said last night, you know, it doesn't matter. And he's born and raised in Tennessee. What's wrong with him? Yeah, I, well, I so was she. Too. I am too. <laughs> yeah, but, but you can hear the accent on her. You can't hear it on you. What's your excuse? I've been around the world. <laughs> <laughs> he's picked up um, different accents. I, yeah. A... Depends on what you have drink. I mean, I can talk like an, you know, an, an Arabic person. Um, you, you know it's what's funny? Because uh, Ray Ray, when he drinks too much, that's when you can hear 
usually hear the Southern draw come yeah, out yeah, a little yeah. bit in him. Uh, I'm, I'm like, Ray Ray, no way. Yeah. How does Ray Ray have a Southern funny. draw? Because well, he'll talk and he'll say, what well, is he, what does he say, know, like yonder? Y'all, and he'll say something like, um, yeah, yeah, I had, you'll hear it. I, I, I had this, uh, I had this boss like a long time ago, and he told me, go get that back yonder. Go get it back yonder? Yeah, I was going to get it back yonder, so I looked in the At phone the book, <laughs> and, and I'm like, no, that was something different. Oh, different. <laughs> I, I looked in the phone book, Hello. and I was looking at all, like, the different cities, and I'm like, I don't see yonder. Where's that located? <laughs> oh, shit. I bet he looked at you, too. Like, Yeah, yeah, he's from Georgia. This Ge- guy's not from here. Yeah, well, he's from Georgia, too. Okay. So he had, like, the really, really thick accent. Thick accent. Wait till you get from Alabama. Yeah, Mississippi's pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty... Pretty big deal, too. Ohio, too, believe it or not. I, do, I know. I have family in Ohio, actually. Ohio is, like, very southern. <clears throat> it, to an extent. Well, I mean, as far as as far as far uh, the language, I know about Miss, uh, Mississippi. I had a bunch of uh, callers the other day from Mississippi. Well, was oh, it yeah? Tweety from, like, Alabama or something? On... Uh, what was that again? What did you, what did... Yeah, you need one? Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, right. I'm trying to do like sign. No, no Snow's gonna go get. Oh, Snow's well, got it. Well, we, oh, Sorry. man down, man down. <laughs> I'm not down. I got my beer. <laughs> no, and, and, and that was the funny thing though. When I fell, I wasn't worried about falling. I was worried because my beer got all messed up. Hey, you know what? It, was, it wasn't open, but it still pissed me off. Cause I was my thinking that thing was gonna spew, up. but it didn't. But, yeah, I was waiting for it to just start spinning. Yeah, like Shit it coming out the top. <laughs> That is a 12-ounce tornado. That's what that is. There's come out of the bear. Come out of the bear. Somebody better suck that shit up. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know, man. It was, it was a great night last night. It really was, you know. Uh, Snow can really pat out those those hamburgers pretty good. I, and, I, I'm really liking this extra. Because, I mean, you got all this extra feedback, so it feels like a party atmosphere. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's a party. It's always a party. We, we bring the party to wherever we go. We can so, go to a... A library, and we'll have a book party if we have to. Fuck that. Fucking bookworms. Bookworm. You gotta be real quiet in a library. You get kicked out, then you gotta get to tell them, hey, fuck you, and then they call the police. That's not fun. Hey, look at this. We, 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 we've, we've got <laughs> snow talking left and right now. Yeah! You hear that shit? Oh, Chrissy, thank you. Now our like, ratings are like gonna triple. Appreciate They're gonna be that. like, well, who's that southern girl? <laughs> yes. There you go, buddy. Thank you. No problem. Well, thank you. I've got another beer. Yeah, you need to you need to you need to drink that other one first. Oh, maybe, maybe I need to it's chug them both hot. at the same time. Let me, let's oh, see if I can. Can you chug one? Can you chug it? No, don't chug. No, what do you? You can't chug them both and hold the mic. What's wrong with you? No, honey, you're gonna they, they, they don't. They don't. What are you doing? The, the, the listeners don't need to get drunk. <laughs> what the? Fuck? I've never seen anyone try to do that. <laughs> Two beers at once. Wow. My husband's <laughs> lost his damn mind. I, I have not lost my mind. And then, like, open the other one so it flows through, and then, like, punch it. Shit. You know, like, double can, whatever. That's, well. some, that's some redneck ingenuity, what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Got a fucking funnel. <laughs> not at Double all. up. Some duct tape, hold it in. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a new ashtray. <laughs> you know, I'd like, uh, I'd like one of them bear helmets. Oh, like, a, you know, like the stadium? You see those guys that have the two and the straw? Hell yeah, that would be awesome. I did a beer bong when I was young. Oh, I got the foam stuck in my throat. My friends kept thinking I was going to throw up. I'm like, no, I got foam. I couldn't talk about hey, it. Hey, door, shut. I said, Stop I opening. couldn't talk because my damn, I had foam in my throat. And they're like, oh, okay. I'm going to put that freaking uh, what, whatever it is by that door. Stop opening. <laughs> you got any questions, door? If you do, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Anyways. I guess the ghost wants to get in on it after all. Hell, oh man. What were we talking about? I got distracted just now. <laughs> ghost and beer and... Oh, oh yeah, the, the beer shit. helmet. Um, The thing is, is the only thing I don't like about the beer helmet is, I mean, it, first of all, it's on your head. And then, like, generally you wear it, like, in a stadium. I mean, here in a studio, it wouldn't be bad. I mean, you know, no one's going to fuck with it. But <laughs> if someone's sitting behind me and they don't like me, I'm not going to be able to see if they put anything in my beer or not. That's the only problem I have with it. Hopefully your friends would keep an eye out for you, but some of them... Well, hopefully my friends are going to be beside me. Yeah, exactly. 
But if they look at you and see something floating in your beer, and they're like, hey, man. In a can on my head? Oh, I was thinking cups. No. I had a moment. Sorry. <laughs> a moment. I, I'll tell you one time I, I got this so This magic dr- moment. One time I got so drunk, I, I decided to say I love you to a keg. <laughs> Did you, Did you kiss it? <laughs> no, but I was hugging it awfully tight. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, there was, I'll tell you what. My, one of my senior uh, graduation like parties, um, we actually hit... One. Well, I didn't have one, but I went to one. I never went to one in a while. Oh. Well, <laughs> anyway, we... <laughs> I went to work instead. <laughs> Shit. We went, uh, me and a buddy of mine, we went out and went to the first one. We went to three of them that night, but <clears throat> I, I was driving, so I didn't drink until the last one. I, I got an idea. We could pull the wall down, and then we'd have more room. Oh, <laughs> hell. <sighs> We could we do let him finish. Go we, ahead. We could do oh. that, though. It's a pretty good idea. No. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> fucking around. We're not like doing that. that. No. Fuck no. Anyways, uh, what I was saying. Yeah. Um, you, like, went to the first one. I didn't drink. My buddy did. Went to the second one. I didn't drink. My buddy did. Went to the third one. I got shit-faced. Hammered. How shit-faced did you get? <laughs> um, did you shit on your face? Yeah. I got shit <laughs> on my face. I was... I was hand hammered. We'll put it that way. You, you was, ever get so hammered that somebody wants to write on you? I haven't been that hammered. Uh, I have. I have passed out walking. Um, How the hell did you pass out walking? Uh, I couldn't really tell you. What about just, the Walmart experience? I drank so much oh, one time. I got myself. I drank myself sober. Yeah, you, I do. I do that a lot actually. And a lot of people I hate like, that. A lot of people are like, that does, you can't do that. You there's, do there's that. no way. Yes, you can. Yeah. I've never seen you do that. I've been with you for the past three years. Are, are you kidding? You two weekends more, ago? You just get more and more drunk. And thank you're getting sober, but two you more, don't get sober. Oh, God. <laughs> On Judge Judy. Now, what about Walmart? What were you saying about the Walmart experience? So, sometimes I need, like, an automated car. Like, like just hit a button and let it drive. It's like... And, and Google's uh, actually making one of those. I, I, I miss my cruise control, because that's what yeah. I used to do. Yeah. That way you can, like, let your feet rest. <laughs> it's like... Oh, see, yeah, 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 yeah. You're too drunk, let your feet rest. <laughs> Heck no, I'd go to sleep. I'd yeah. be like, oh, my feet are resting. Oh, shit, oh. <laughs> and you know what? Well, talking about Walmart, Um, as always, I'm, I am I get drunk. Um, And we decided we're going to go to Walmart right out here on Alcala. Oh, boy. And, um, like, the thing is, all right, she knows what kind of soap she uses. She knows what kind of shampoo she uses. But she always stares at them. Like, I'm trying to see if they have anything that smells better. Anyways, so I'm drunk, and I'm like losing patience, and and like my intention levels like gone. Just to let everyone know, now that they know that when Tempo's talking to himself, he's not talking to himself. He's talking over here to Snow, but yeah. you normally can't hear Snow. Yeah, Snow is over here. She's right beside me. Hey. I do the same thing though. I like to sniff all the different scents too. Yeah, well, you know what? So it's a woman thing. Go I, ahead. I get the good. I, I used to sniff glue. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, to talk about sniffing markers. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some Crayola stupid. <laughs> yeah, you know the ones that had the sense. You know. A, I put sharpie on my hands. I'll tell you what. School, like my freshman year, and be like. I still want to know who who's drinking Robitussin and driving because I'm still seeing that sign. Who does that? I have oh. no idea. Okay, so you're in Walmart. You're losing patience. Yeah, and so I get like the great idea. I'm gonna like start drag racing these these carts. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm like, I'm you know, and 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 you know, in the beauty section or the clothing or the hair stuff. Yeah. Anyways, over there, and and you know, there's like there's a. An aisle, it's got one on both sides, and then there's like a little break, and then there's the other aisle. So I'm like flying through there, right? <laughs> and like, you see kids do this all the time, and like in the parking lot, they'll get on the back of it and ride it down. Well, my big ass decides to do that in between those aisles, and as soon as I did, and I put both feet up there, like it pops a wheelie. <laughs> and you landed it on your so, ass. So, uh, no, I landed, no. On his ass. I landed on my knees. And oh, the damn. buggy, the buggy landed on my fingers. Oh. Ow. I mean, hey, I wouldn't like let go of the buggy. I mean, shit, an innocent bystander could have got hurt. And I mean, they could have sued me for like forty-seven cents, but like eight o'clock in the morning, nobody yeah. was there. Yeah, yeah, really. I'm like I get up, I get up, you know, and I'm like looking at my fingers, seeing if they're all still there. And oh, snow, remember. snow is just like 
holding this bottle of shampoo and it's open and like staring at me. It's like, <laughs> do I laugh or do I just like smell this one more time? <laughs> Head and shoulders. I was laughing hysterically and She says, um, are, are you okay? okay? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> like nothing happened. I didn't. I didn't just do that. Are you drunk? Are you high? I would have bust out laughing at you. I'm sorry. Like, I no, I, I did not, not just pop a wheelie. Okay. I, I'll tell. I'll tell you one th- one thing though. I was high as a kite one time. This was way back in the day because I don't smoke no more. But um, was, was it a Wednesday? No, 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 oh. no. But I was at a Walmart and I was acting like I was in the Special Olympics. <laughs> Doing what? Well, I, I I was jumping in the cart, and there were a bunch of us in the cart, and we were going, "Mommy!" Oh my God! <laughs> Give me my toy, my toy, Bobby, my toy! I used Jesus! To walk her at Walmart and do that to my mom. <laughs> She'd get pissed. And, and the employees were all looking at me like I was nuts. God! <laughs> and they were laughing their ass off. Yeah, and you know what? You can have a lot of fun. They but... probably were laughing at you. They probably thought it was hysterical. <laughs> I, I, I was going to use another term, but I didn't use it because I don't want people to think that I have anything against the handicap. Hey, here's, here's the thing, though. I, I keep on Did seeing it with an handy R? fucking cap. Yeah, it was that R word. Okay. Um, but uh, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Rich. <laughs> fucking rich. But, um... No, but what is up with these fucking... They must be handing out these fucking handicapped fucking plates. Holy I'm shit, you. here we are, here we are. And and I talk about, I talk about this shit all the time. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter. There's they like drive 500 like yeah. handicap yeah. And they spots. drive like idiots. Well, it's not only that, but you got a handicap sticker on a freaking... Like, like jacked up diesel dually, yeah. like with a four inch lift kit. Yeah. What? Like oh. they gotta jump up in that shit. Can't be too fucking handicapped. What's like, exactly. What, what's Another wrong? one is like, a girl your, your had nose? a van and uh, it had a handicap um, plate on it. She was driving like an asshole. And she was driving like an asshole, and she was a young girl, and she like she was nothing fucking wrong with her. And, and, and she had her kids like, in the car. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? There's with my this? head. I had her mom. She's handicapped in the brain. <clears throat> She's rich. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's gonna be code word for it, rich. <laughs> fucking rich. You fucking rich bastard. <laughs> I say stupid things sometimes. I, you will hear me from time to time say stupid things. I'm just letting you know I say stupid things. But you know what? When he did that in Walmart, he was also young and dumb. And he was a kid, so. Hey, I was, was having fun. fun. That's what I'm saying. But you were real young at the time. You I don't do give a shit. Now. I was having fun. But you wouldn't do that now. If, if I was man. pissed drunk, I would. I mean, I wouldn't consider 27 young. Can you um, imagine <laughs> if we had to go into Walmart snow with the two of them? All I'd pissed, face drunk. I'd oh, God. I'd be right there with them. <laughs> hey, uh, you know I'm what? So I, got a, I got a story. No, I think you and I would be sitting back laughing is what I mean. <laughs> I, got, I got a story about being yeah, drunk being... and going to Walmart. All right. Um, go ahead. I, I was still in the Navy. And... Uh, <clears throat> We decided to go to Walmart because we were kicked out of a bar. But nice. And we tried to go buy more beer, but they wouldn't sell it to us because they said we were intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we tell them, no, we're fine. And they said no. So we decided to go rearrange some stuff. And um, Oh, boy. I, I mean, we didn't, like, rearrange, like, fucking aisles or anything. But, uh, you know, those little rolly carts, you know, that they got, like, the clothes and stuff on? Well, we took some uh, bras and panty sets and put them in the men's section. <laughs> and put the ties and belts in the women's. Yeah. Oh, I would have loved to have been there and done that. That would have been fun. Well, I mean, that was just part of it. And then one of my buddies decided he was going to try a pair on. Not a, not a tie. Not a belt. Bond um, panties. I'd say he was being a, a rich bastard at that time, too. But, um, he decided he was going to put them on and... I'd be damned if he didn't, like, take his shirt off, like, unbutton it and everything. Like, dropped his pants. <laughs> and luckily, he didn't drop his boxers. Oh, thank but, God. Like, no, he just, he just, he's... Before you actually put it on, well, this is... On yeah, and, and, and this is the thing. Like, he put it on, right? And then, like, kept his shirt unbuttoned and walked up there and, like, handed him a tag and, like, paid for it. <laughs> Yeah, like what? He, what? this is paid for by the Two Loco Foundation. If you don't like it, we well, don't give a fuck. Okay, then he paid yeah. for it. Yeah, I mean, who? Else and then what the hell with? did he do with it? He wore that shit home. 
he walked in the door and his wife was like, what is this? And sure enough, she thought something else was going on. But, I mean, nothing else was going on except for five guys. And and that's my a set story of bra, and I'm a, sticking a, a, a to bra it. And, and some panties. That <laughs> <laughs> five drunk guys in a bra and panties, huh? Yeah. And we, <laughs> to top it all off, we were in a minivan. <laughs> oh, yeah. You rich bastards. Yeah, we were rich that night. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was it was a lot of fun, you know. Just like everything I do is really fun. Well, I think, you know, one night we're going to have to get them both good and intoxicated and going to a Walmart and oh, have some no. fun. Or no, if you house. Really, I was gonna, Whoa, yeah. Waffle House, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, you wanna, yeah, oh, I think so. It's going to be fun. You want to get something going. You want to get some jumping jacks uh, for some Jesus. Some Jesus, yeah. <laughs> sure. You ever Let's seen get jumping, some jumping jacks for Jesus. Yeah, push-ups for Jesus, crunches for Jesus. So, and I get everyone in there working out. They're like, I don't want food anymore. I just want to keep doing push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I do that shit at the bar and they just look at me up. like, what? Times. Yeah, I was I was told. Uh, I'll walk in and be the drill instructor. <laughs> Wear that hat. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yeah. Give everybody in line. You're not yep. pushing hard enough. Come on. What's up, yeah. soldier? I, I, and you know what? The thing is, is, and, and this is what I tell everybody that I've met and, and that I will meet in the future is, is just fuck what everyone else thinks. I mean, exactly. seriously. Exactly. Why not have fun? Until you wipe my ass, I'm really not going to give a shit what you think. I mean, exactly. Yeah, really. exactly. If you ain't paying my bills, why the seriously, fuck would I care? I mean... If you don't come wipe my ass, I'm not going to listen to a fucking thing you say. Exactly. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, and I'm growing my hair out. You know, I've told everyone that I'm growing it out because I'm going to donate it, right? And, man, I catch so much hey, shit. Hey, can I have it. some of your hair? Man, hey, I'll donate it to anybody. <laughs> yeah, Anybody's welcome. Anybody's welcome. To wait, wait a second. We're missing somebody. She went on a beer run. What? You know what, hon? I could actually grow out my hair again and, uh. Give you some too. Yeah, donate it. I so know, you have seriously. some curly and some straight. Oh, that'd be cool. Right. That make okay. a good wig. You okay? Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, and the thing is, is I mean, in all reality, if you don't do what you want to do, why the fuck are you trying to do anything? Like, think about exactly. it. Exactly. No, do what you want to do. Piss on everyone else. Yeah, you don't like it. Tough shit. Tough shit. And Eat piss some on cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some cookies? No, rich bastard, shut up. <laughs> you know, that pissed me off, though. I have to talk about this. Let me hear it. You know, I I grew up watching the Cookie Monster. I know where you're going with so, this. It so he would, too. You know, he would eat cookies. That's yeah. what the fuck it is. Cookie ate. Monster. Cookies. And I'm older than all of you guys, and yeah, I remember Cookie Monster always eating cookies, too. My brother grew up watching it. My older and my younger Street. brothers. You just turned 22 and we were at the Cheddars. You don't remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I did turn 22. All right, all right. So, so anyway, what the fuck is up with him eating fruit? Yeah. He is not a veggie monster. monster. No. He's a veggie monster, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's talk. Let me tell you why. What, what? Yeah, the cookie monster no longer eats cookies. <laughs> he now eats fruit. Fruit and that's vegetables. That's stupid. That's fucked up. Yeah, so he's the it fruit is. and vegetables monster. Yeah. That's I'm fucked up. Throat. Yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> no, listen, this is what's even more fucked up. You know why he's doing that now? Why? Because when it happened, it, this was like two, three years ago when this transferred. Maybe even longer than that. There was a mother, if I'm not mistaken, she was in California, but she sued the makers of uh, Sesame Street because... Wow, my mic just shut down. Um, no, I can hear you. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, I was trying to get go rid ahead. of the static. So. Oh, okay. No, you're, you're good. Um, but the thing is, is she actually sued the makers of Sesame Street because her child always watched Sesame Street. And her child always wanted to do what the Cookie Monster did. So her child would always eat these cookies. Well, her child got obese. Well, it's her and fucking fault. She kept giving her fucking kid cookies. Right? She I mean, should have said no. The kid doesn't Can have we a go job? to California like punch his bitch in the throat? I drag her behind the truck. <laughs> yeah, really. I don't want to hurt my hand. But no, the yeah, thing I is, is <laughs> two no record at the bar. That's just at that bar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's not but damn, I missed my Brahma boots. Oh shit! But no, and she sued him and won. That's that's ridiculous. That's stupid. I mean, no, her kid got obese because she kept feeding him. She gave the little 
the little kid Feed whatever me. it wanted. Feed me. And the kid was a spoiled little brat. And the spoiled little brat got what it wanted, and that's what happened. Remember Little Shop of Horrors when, when that plant would grow? <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> I love that one. Feed huh? me. No, it's a movie. Old movie. Very old, old movie. Old movie. It's great. It's this plant. Like, he, and, the, and the guy bought it when it was, like, really, really small. And then... It started growing, and the plants start talking, like, feed me, feed me. Yeah, you know those uh, movie? plants oh, that eat... Uh, well, what was the name of that movie? Little Shop of Horrors. Little, Little Shop, Shop of Horrors. Horrors. Okay. Well, I was trying to think of what kind of plant it's called. Um, it, it, it was the dude from... Uh, Venus Flytrap. Yeah, it, it Venus Flytrap, The dude yeah. from uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, same guy. Yeah, yeah, and that was like one of his first Rick, movies, too. I think it was like Rick Moranis or whatever. Yeah, like that's that. his yeah. name. Yeah, but anyways, he like this guy would like lure these girls and these people into like his shop, and this plant would eat them. Yeah, it's like a like an, a late Crazy. 70s, early 80s yeah. like horror this. movie, but I mean now it's like what yeah, the yeah, fuck now was it's I like, thinking about it's like mountain but <laughs> fucking plant. I'll put some roundup on that ass. <laughs> go Come here, yourself. Mr. Plant, you want to eat? Sure. Here, have some of this. Take some nice roundup. Hey, have some lighter fluid. Have some roundup and some lighter fluid, you bastard. Now what? <laughs> Man, oh shit! <laughs> now who are you gonna eat? Nobody. <laughs> it's a new age dragon. <laughs> now, hey, here, here's another thing. Um, you know, we we've talked about this before about you know this is kind of going all the way into left field. Yeah, it don't it about. don't matter. We 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 win, <clears throat> we wing it a lot of times. But uh, what about uh, like the death penalty? Have y'all have y'all read about this and heard about this? It's on the news and everything no. else. Uh, in Tennessee, they, they passed the bill and they voted on it and it passed, like I say, but, uh, you know, with, with the convicts that are, have been sentenced to death, um, like Britain, England and China, a couple other ones, but there's, they're trying to basically boycotting, selling this product that puts them to sleep, you know, without pain and everything. And so for that reason, the prices are going up, right? Because the demand's higher, supply is much lower, right? They're boycotting yeah. it. So instead of it costing ten thousand dollars to put them to sleep, it's costing like forty thousand dollars. So Damn. Tennessee actually brought back the electric chair. Oh shit! Yeah, if you if they if 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 the supplies are not readily available. Then we're, we're just gonna fry everybody. Then your ass is oh, going yeah. electric chair. But hey, and you know what? If we can cook some Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is is uh, it's electric boogie woogie woogie. <laughs> right? Yeah. They can do a dance. Fried human. But uh, the thing is, is I mean that's that's an I mean it's gonna save you know on costs, but and I, I've said this before, um. You can go to Walmart, or I'm sorry, Home Depot or Lowe's and get 20 foot of rope for like 40 bucks. And you get 10 people, 20 people. I don't know, what are you going to do? What are they going to do hey, next? Man, hey, we're man, talking about... Man, yeah. man, man, They're going to bring back hanging next? No, nah, they will probably won't. You, but, you, 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 never you can't know. talk hanging, man. Huh? You, you can't be white and talk hanging, man. Well, it's not, no, it's not right. Really? No. <laughs> no, it's not. what you do. Yeah, it's not even like, no, it's not even like that. No, I'm saying but, they're probably going to bring it back because it's yeah. so cheap. Well, the thing is, is I mean, you think about it. It's it's your money that you work for that's going to put these fuckers to sleep. You know how much it costs to keep an inmate up in a prison? Not like a state-of-the-art prison. Just a simple prison. Not a maximum security prison. A regular prison. It depends on who's fucking them from behind. <clears throat> yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of medical. No. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, it, it takes like six anywhere between sixty and seventy five thousand dollars a year per inmate. Yeah, and they'll hold wow. fit, they'll hold five thousand, seven thousand. Think about that. And then they wonder, well, why are our schools not so good? Why are our teachers getting paid so little? Well, because uh, hmm. you're keeping these if, bastards yeah. in these jail cells. And then you, let's, let's think about this here, They're right? On death row. And, and, Ray Ray was talking about this earlier uh, in the last show. Uh, people going out there where weed is legal, right? Yeah. Well, what about people that were sentenced to in prison for having a dime bag five times, three strikes, you're out, right? So they yep. put them in prison. You get in prison time. Yep. Are we seriously putting prison people in prison for, like, weed? What the fuck for? Are you serious? I'm, I'm sure they put people in now, prison for bubble gum <clears throat> if they could. 
<laughs> you know it's funny. There's some like I, I always look. I look this shit up, and, and Snow does too. But there's some states that have these laws. That, it's called ridiculous laws, and they're still legal laws. But I mean, of course, they don't buy by them. But it's illegal to like walk your elephant anytime between like seven thirty and nine in Knoxville. What? It's, no. Yeah, exactly. Who the fuck has an yeah, elephant? It's, it's illegal to hunt whales in Tennessee. Yeah, it's illegal to hunt whales. Okay. It's illegal to have intercourse with an animal in some states. Yeah. Oh, and damn. Beastie, masturbation is illegal in Tennessee. <laughs> in some states, it's illegal to have sex in any position other than the missionary. Missionary, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, ili- it's illegal to carry... What those fuckers have? Yeah. Like... It's illegal to carry a, um ice cream cone in your back right pocket. <laughs> Who the fuck does that? In one state... <laughs> In one state, it's illegal to flip a booger into the wind. Yeah. Hell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it, seriously. Fart in a crowded place. Fart in a crowded area. Um, there was another one. That's Why like, I like to do that in Walmart. And fart in the end went up the aisle. And then, like, look back. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Exactly. I'm looking at whatever it, 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 Here's the, the funny you thing. You smell that. I know it, you Here's do. the funny thing. In, in a lot of places, it's illegal to smoke in a bar, especially up north. But you know what's funny though? But I'll you can ha- but you can use your electronic cigarette anytime you want. Hey, and I, yeah, it is bullshit. But talking about the electronic cigarette, and I was tell I was talking to y'all about this too, and I was really talking to you about it. Because I was wanting one, you talked me out of it. Guess what's happening? What? The government is about to start taxing more on that because they're losing tax money on cigarettes. Oh, shit. Guarantee you. Watch. It's coming. They were talking about that on the radio last night. It's coming. I was, I've been talking about this for three months, four months. It's coming. Yep. You can You can pretty much just yeah. call me like a genie in My like a beer can. My father-in-law did that. Hey, hey, if they could the tax you to pee, pee they'd do it. Me? What was no, it? No, the funny thing, my father-in-law started doing those, and I, uh, thankfully he stopped. Well, yeah, he, he stopped because he heard about somebody, uh, you know, had an electronic cigarette. And it blew up in their face. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah. glad he stopped. Yeah, like, I, mean, I was wanting one, and he talked me out of it. No, you can't. You no, know, I mean, if it helps you quit, by all means, if that's what you want to do, have at it. Um, I mean, if I wanted to stop fucking chickens, I'd probably like go to like goats or something. But I mean, <laughs> I'm not. No. And then no. from goats to cows. <sighs> Good God. I, I want to know the ticket ratio of people who travel through Jersey smoking a cigarette in their car and get stopped. You're not shitting. That's that's illegal, isn't it? That's yeah. illegal. I thought you were just like fucking around. No. You're serious, no. aren't you? I'm serious. dead serious. Can't smoke a cigarette in your car. No. wonder what the fucking reason behind that is. Because people from Jersey are people. I don't know. No, it. it uh, <laughs> I don't know fucking why. aliens. <laughs> I, I know. I know the reason behind it because if you're smoking a cigarette, okay, and you throw it out your window, and it the wind pushes it back, it can land like on your body, and you can get burned. But that's your own <laughs> stupidity. <laughs> and we've just hold on lost just a our, second. Hold on. We've just lost our you know uh, way of talking though. We, we're talking. We oh, wait a lost second. Our mics, I, I've lost mean. my mic. No, I've no, got no, my our, mic. Our back. Mics are, you're you're our there. I'm there. It's still recording. Tempo we put his headsets, beer down real the, fast. Please turn left at the traffic light. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Those are empty. We're good. Please turn left. Just make sure. Just keep on making left so you'll get. So where you're hey, what go. about people that have a, like the the phobia of not turning right? You, you everyone, you, have you seen this on on TV and read about it? No. Yeah, they got a phobia of turning right because they were hit. They were hit while making a right. So like they have to map out like how to get to this destination without making a right hand turn. I would say making a left hand turn, but I don't have a phobia of turning left. I just have a phobia of getting hit again, like pulling out from anywhere to cross the main road. I was in my friend's truck. It was a big, pi- it was a pickup truck, and we were driving along the highway back in Connecticut. All right. And um, we actually had a Thank big you. rig behind us. I mean, not behind us, in front of us, and it was driving, and a piece fell off of it, hit the ground, hit the bumper, hit just above the roof, just above the windshield, and the cop said that if we had been in a car, we would have been dead. Hey, I hate being behind trucks now. I can't stand it. I get scared. 
Let me, uh... Oh, wait, I, I got a story. I got a story. Now that's a phobia. All right, we, we were driving today. Or I was driving today. And, uh... I, uh, I cut over a lane. And when I cut over a lane, I cut in front of a truck, but I didn't have a choice in the matter because... Otherwise, I had to get off the highway. Okay. But, I mean, I didn't cut right in front of the truck. I was a good distance in front of the truck. Like All a right. Mack truck. Yeah. And there was this truck on the left side that looked like he was he didn't see me and he was, you know, going to go right. So, I slowed down to get out of his way. And when I did that, the truck behind me beeped. Behind you beeped? Yeah. Oh, like, hey, asshole, you're getting in front of me? Kind yeah, of beep? Yeah, exactly. But I guess he didn't see that the other truck was trying to, you know, go into my lane. Okay. So, I, I, I just thought that was fucked up. So, the truck, the trucker, would, he beeps his horn. And then this fucking, then the truck, the other truck, decides to be an asshole. And he beeps something that sounds like a fucking circus horn. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I'm like, I, I'm like, all these fucking, you know, horns. And I felt like going, like... Where are the noises coming from? Like Christy D goes, the horn blows, how about the driver? <laughs> oh my god, I just got that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I got that before you did, you gotta be kidding me right now. <clears throat> no, I'm actually being pretty serious. I wonder if he I blows. smart at the moment. She blows. Oh god, it'd be weird if it wasn't he. But the question is still there, does he blow? Does he tell anyone he blows, or is it like a secret? <laughs> what if it was two females in the truck? Well, <laughs> because there's a lot of female truck drivers nowadays. There is. There I still is. say horn blows is your mother. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's another one. That's what I got to be. That's what I tell them when people I, I, blow I, the I, horn I, I, said, I said, does the driver. It's like, That's another one, yep. It's like, um, well. I, I guess somebody's going to blow. <laughs> Somebody's getting blown tonight. Okay, well, really bad if you force me, I guess. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you're knee deep in a chicken right now, so I wouldn't talk. Hey, hey, y'all know the best sound in the world? What's that? Sure is. Hey, I like that sound. That's a nice sound. I'll drink to that. That's the sound of freedom. There you go. Meow. <laughs> you know what? We we got like these things like covering the mics now, and it doesn't matter because we'll still find a way to fuck shit up. We do tend to fuck still shit up, don't we? I mean, hell, look at it. Look at it. I mean, it's just fucking plastic anyway. Not plastic, <clears throat> foam. Well, foam, plastic, same fucking difference. Kind of feels like a tit. I, I can't mean, believe that. I they're not, they're not like squishy, but I mean, these are these are squishy. I can't believe I started feeling it after he said that. You wanted to test it out, didn't you? Huh? Yeah. Like, oh, God, he was right. I mean, I'd give it an A cup, but damn. And, and you got a lump. Hold on. Yo, dude, are you having fun over there? I always have fun. Only on Two Loco do you hear shit like that. <laughs> He's sitting here feeling up his mic like it's a titty. I swear. And, and then I started doing it because I, I'm like, well, wait a second. You could be right. And what, what do you think? I, I, mean, I got to test that out. I'm not feeling the mic. All right, again. I'll stop. I'm getting excited over here, actually, so I got to stop. Snow is filling in. <laughs> She's hey, like, damn. You're having a ball over it here. does feel like a tit. Oh. All right, well. I'm just going to get back on the rich bus and uh, head back to school. <laughs> <laughs> make, sure it's a, make sure it's a little red one. A little red rich bus? <laughs> yeah, little red rich bus. <laughs> We're going to write a song about this. I was on the little red rich bus. The wheel didn't go round. <laughs> I licked the window. <laughs> and it took me to town. I'm on the little red I bus. I almost <laughs> puked my beer a second ago. Oh, God. Puked. Or spit it. Uh, spit it, probably. Spit it, know. puke it, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> don't really, don't fuck the beer. Ray, Ray. Okay. I'm right. not fucking the beer. So, yeah, you held it like, well, I did feel the tip. Oh, microphone. wait a second, I got a new beer. And yeah, there's another one. Hey, look, man, I drink not beer. Go That's easy pretty on much beer what I do. You, I don't want you puking. Tonight. No, I would. He ain't gonna puke. Yeah, it's because I was laughing so hard. No, I'm talking about last night. He ain't, hey, he had a great, he had a great time. We all had a great time. Hey, I didn't night. puke. I know he did. I, I didn't puke because I drank some water, so I was good. 
I'm just breaking his balls, everybody. Some people don't believe it, but I believe it in my head, subconsciously, if you drink water. In your head? Yeah, if you drink water, after no, you're head drinking, would that be? it sobers you up. Rich head or regular head? And it makes you not throw up. And, and you know what? I, hey, a lot of people, a lot of people say that too. And uh, it was, it was actually on um, one of the local radio stations that they were talking about. You know, it's, it's good if you, if you drink like a, a glass of water for every glass of wine. Yeah. You won't have a hangover. Uh, the problem is, is I don't drink wine, and um, I drink beer. So do I need to have like two or three glasses of water? Well, well, what's funny? I'll drink bread. I'm drinking drink bread. bread. What's funny is you were talking about. Like, I like raw dough. Like uh, regular, <laughs> yeah, regular really. radio and shit. Um, you, you know, uh, I was looking at numbers yesterday. Thank you for interrupting me, car. Vroom. What no, were you I talking eat about? Bread before I drink. If I'm gonna go out drinking and I know I'm yeah, gonna sober you up, yeah. I'll yeah. Drink, eat a lot of bread beforehand. You were rudely interrupting me. Well, you interrupted me first. This is what happens when we get a lot of mics. Guess what? We're gonna get like five more. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. I want to have. We're all gonna have like two on each side. There you go. Woo! Jasper's in the back. <laughs> a real push, push. Meow. We'll get like a. We'll get like an ultra long well, we'll cord, to, and we'll have guess. like people outside of the room talking. Yeah, what to. we'll have to do is we'll have to get another mic, and we'll have to get one, a little one, and put it on Jasper's collar, and let him have. A, Oh I'm God! <laughs> Listeners be like, "How much for the cat? How much for the cat?" I'm like, "Look, I need my balls." Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll we'll put what I we'll put like a mini one on Jackson too. Yep, a mini one on Jackson and a mini one on Jasper. <laughs> they can uh, have well. a field day. Hey, no shit. You know, and like I was telling you, it's kind of funny actually. I don't really think about it, but you know, I, I told you all like when you were testing out the conference call to make sure like the new wiring and everything set up here in the studio. And, like, when I answered it, I was like, I don't even know this number, but, all right, I'm going to answer it. And, like, the thing is, is, like, I hello? And then, like, I heard this lady say, like, a little bit of a word, and then it's like, we we have a conference call for you. Press 1 if you'll accept. And I'm, like, thinking, like, is this, like, one of those dirty chat rooms or something? <laughs> like, I'll one, see, honey, you should have said something dirty. 1-800-WHACK-OFF or something. It's like, are they really calling me? It would have been funny. In the lady's voice, you should have said something dirty to him. And the thing, so the thing is, is I was like, hello? Hello, big boy. And then, then it replied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have. Hey, Stead. Hey, big boy. How hey, you doing? Hey, Stead. I got my chaps on. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you sure got a pretty bow. It's like, oh, we got some sweet lips there. Mm-hmm. My sweet lips is actually beside me, so. <laughs> but no, and the thing is, is I was like, I was, I was like, good God, who is this? And then, then it repeated, you know. It was like, well, Ray Ray and Chrissy D want to enter, you know, invite you to a conference call. Press one to accept. And I was like, oh fuck. I was like, okay, that's a whole hell of a lot better. One, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know like, who you're talking to. That way, I don't get billed, you know, five ninety nine a minute. I'm only going to get billed one ninety nine a minute. I'm yeah, like, you got to watch because some numbers you answer it and you get charged like fucking twenty dollars. That's ridiculous. It oh is. That's but that's up. a new scam they have out. <clears throat> that if you answer your phone from like this anonymous call, oh, or I you don't call them, them uh, no, 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 no. It's not that you answer it. If you call them back, just as I a, do that a, a lot, a, a redial. Yeah, you, you know, like who the fuck just called me? I want to see. You get charged twenty dollars from yeah. your cell phone company. Fuck no. They better I give me a blowjob. Back and leave a message. Mm-hmm. You better give me a message any important. You better give me a blowjob and a free chicken. <laughs> I'm running out of chickens. All right, now. Well, gonna... I think chicken is the only food that they won't fuck are up. Are you going to buy me <laughs> Are you going to buy me dinner and uh grease up good before you fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Where, where the fuck did that come from? Oh, wait a second. Getting, we lost the screen. Getting fucked over. Who's getting greased? We're getting charged for something that's not Oh, rewind. Snow said she's going to grist me in Cisco. <laughs> Are you I gonna can't believe it's right, not butter. That's a little kinky. I'm, sorry, I'm just going to use butter. As long butter as it's not hot. Better. Now they're getting kinky in here. I think we better leave the uh, office and leave them alone. No, 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 no. We have a show to do. We do have a show. Well, they're talking about greasing each other up with butter. Did the stuff. show start yet? Have you hit record? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. says on air. <laughs> oh shit. Um. We've thought, been on air for wow. forty nine minutes though. I, I thought we were still practicing. <laughs> no, man. Um. So, I feel rich right now. 
Damn rich. <laughs> rich in that red bus. Oh, God. The wheels on the bus go round, round and round, round, round and round. round. Not on the red bus, it don't. Oh, man. They go square, square, square. <laughs> hey, I'm riding in the back seat of that red bus. No, actually, I'm riding in the front seat of that red bus. Hey, what about uh, what about these? Have you seen these, these commercials for like these tourist sites and stuff like no. Atlantis? Mm-hmm. You're, you, you, yeah. You have, yeah. And they're like, well, it's only, it's so cheap. It's only fifty nine ninety nine a night per person. That's it? Yeah, so yeah, it's same. 60 bucks, and most families are four. Exactly. So what are we talking about, $240 a night? And then you got to have yeah. airfare, I'd be like, food. screw you. So. Well, I, I used to work for a time, I can go to the lake. I used to work for a timeshare company. I'll Did stay you? where I am yeah. and go on vacation. And we had, um, we had, like, these great deals, supposedly. I can say that now because I no longer work for them. But, um. We had these great we had these great deals, you know. Uh, They're not three, even around three days, anymore, honey. Two nights, you know, with uh, show tickets and something else for like one hundred ninety nine bucks, which ain't bad. But then you have to calculate your gas to get there. Yeah, it is a good point. What if your tires are bad? <laughs> yeah, but you know what, hon? You can say whatever you want because they're not even around anymore. So, how long of a drive is it? Because if my wife's beside me, um, we're gonna we're gonna need to make it real short. It's so mean. I'm just kidding. Well, ma- imagine okay. if you're She's... going. Imagine if you're going <laughs> from fucking snows over here. Like I'm gonna slam your dick in the fucking door. <laughs> imagine if you're going from like yes, Maine to like I fucking open, Vegas. Man. Think of the Ohio guys. to Vegas. No, Maine to Vegas. Maine to Vegas. Oh, like Main Street Vegas. <laughs> oh, no, the state. Okay, yeah. yeah, I got it. Yeah. Maine's like as far as you can go before hitting fucking Canada. And Isn't shit. it like the glove? Isn't that the, the like hand Michigan. state? Michigan. Fuck, God, I don't know my damn states, do I? <laughs> well, I know my states, but I don't know the shapes. Michigan that would be a long-ass drive, though. Yeah, exactly. What if you got, like, five screaming kids in the back? Um, All the way. I Hell have said no. this. Be- I have said this before. Um, I am a big fan of moonshine, so <laughs> we're gonna do a little moonshine and apple juice, and the kids are gonna take a little nap. <laughs> oh my god! All now, right, I, I, we, I, we've I, just been canceled. But <laughs> I no shit. I, I really don't recommend that. And the thing is, I would never ever do that. Um, oh wait, we're not gonna pay, so we're not gonna get canceled. It <laughs> doesn't matter. I I don't want people, the listeners. I don't want them like you know what Tempo said he does this, so I'm gonna do it. And then like give them like half a bottle of vodka, <laughs> and they wonder why their two year old just like is in a coma. That's probably because you give them half a fucking bottle of liquor. Just remember, give them some vodka and vroom vroom. Oh God, now we're really fucked. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God, what are you gonna do? Like give them a line of cocaine too? Be like <laughs> God damn, <laughs> holy shit, I'm fucking wired, son. Then we get a dick for okay, that. He's gonna hit him like. Let's go. Let's him, run. Give him fucking meth. Boom, boom. They're like, oh god, you know what? I'm I'm really tired, Dad. Nah, <laughs> smoke this shit. You'll be all right. <laughs> fucking hey, what's that movie? What's that movie where the, the the girl like climbs the wall and she gets on the ceiling? Is that Blow? No, but the movie Blow is good though. Yes, it is. What what's that movie though? I have no Exorcist? idea. It's, it's a uh, Exorcist. Emily Rose. Exorcism of Emily Rose. Or yeah. Exorcist. Oh, well, fuck, I don't know. Exorcist One of them. This is where she walks down the steps, like, backward. Every so movie's making fun of like, that shit, too. Yeah. Uh, disclaimer, we're a bunch of dumbasses. If you follow the, the rules of dumbasses, then you're a dumbass, and you can't sue us because we're dumbasses to begin with. Well, you can't sue my rich ass because I got about 47 cents. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sue my rich ass because I got a penny to my name. There we go. So, hey, we got 48 we'll fucking cents right here. That's good. Hey, and mine would be 49, so... Hey, you know what's really bad? We can't even buy a stamp. Nope. <laughs> you, you know I'm what? I'm kidding. We can buy as many fucking stamps as we want because we're just that way. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what's crazy, on the red though? Bus. Wait, what's crazy, though, is I have, like, my paycheck, right? Mm-hmm. I look at my paycheck. I look at my bills. I kiss my paycheck goodbye. Don't you love when that happens? <laughs> and you put in a little extra time, that way you get a little extra money. And it's like... And then, and then you gotta make and, and nope. then you gotta make extension payments. It's like, you know what? Fuck. Yeah, you work your balls off to get that little extra money, and what happens? It has to go to a motherfucking bill. What the hell? Or a fucking, uh, what, what do you call that? AC or heat that your landlord's supposed to take care of and... Does not. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. 
Is he rich or is he just special? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I got this saying I like to I like to put out to people when they like really fucking annoy me. <clears throat> you know, and I I do my best to, like stay out of a conflict. I really do. But I mean, when you're being like really stupid, I'll ask them, "Are you dumb or just stupid? Which one?" <laughs> And they look like, they, they, seriously, I've done it. And Snow knows this. I've, I've done it at the it. bar. It's funny. And, like, they'll look at you and they have this dumb look on their face, like, well, uh. What? And, then, and then they, like, look at you, like, well, they're both, like, the same thing. So pick one. Which one? Dude, are you stupid or are you special? What, uh, what, what used to drive me nuts, and I just thought it was the funniest thing. I, I used to work for this drive through for uh, this barbecue joint. Don't put any names out there. No, I'm not going to put no names out there. But uh, the customers used to come in, drive through, and they're like, I want a barbecue pork sandwich, plain with no sauce on it. Then it's not barbecue. So you want like just like a, a pulled pork sandwich or, I mean, do you, like, do you want roast beef with that? <laughs> you want a bar? I mean, <laughs> sesame seed or not. <laughs> Um, yeah, you get some dumbass questions. Would you like me to wrap that, or just like hand it to you at the window? Hey, and then I had this. Uh, I had this boss. He was cool as heck, but he was from uh, Crossville, Tennessee. Did you say heck? Yeah. All Why right. The heck I'm starting. You, I'm starting. I'm heck? starting to understand. Okay. All right. All right. It's all right. coming out. All right. So he he, he he was uh you know cool as heck and whatnot, and uh, he 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 he'd always tell me go take care of that by the window. I'm like, where the fuck is the winder? I haven't met that employee yet. Where's she at? <laughs> she drive a truck? She blow? Which one? <laughs> by the winder. So I go to drive through and I'd be like, please pull up by the winder. <laughs> <clears throat> if you don't mind, pull up by the winder. Your customers and, uh, must have loved you. Have that fucking cash ready. Uh, and, and what I, I loved is when they came to the, when they came to the winder, and. Uh, they asked, They said, oh, by the way, this is the go. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck are you going to do? Eat it at the drive to window? I mean, no shit. Like, you're going know, to, like, put your car in park and, like, have a picnic? Like, all seven kids and you and your wife? Would you like me to, like, turn on the disco ball, too? I mean, we got one in the back. Oh, would you like me to put on some romantic music and some candlelight? What would you like? I used to hate whenever I was hostessing. And, like, whenever somebody comes in, you know, I'm supposed to greet them if I'm the hostess. And right. I'd be like, oh, hey, are y'all, hey, how are y'all doing tonight? You know? And my managers flip the fuck out. Like, it's not y'all. It's how are you all doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, really? You're in the fucking South. Well, if, yeah, you, put, really? if you put those two words together, it spells y'all. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Exactly. The o, the o and the U are silent. It's Y O U A L L. All right, now I I shouldn't say this. I I catch myself saying it too because I, I hear it so much. I should not say this, but I don't think sometimes. You're a naughty boy. Go ahead and say it. So, when I first came down south, right? You know, I came from you know up north and everything, and came down south. I came down south. Yeah, I came down <laughs> south. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. I'm I'm done. I'm done. But uh, you, you know, I the two biggest words that I heard, you know, when I when I got out here. Which I don't have anything against Southerners in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to say this ahead of time. That's good, because we're sitting right no, beside you. Of- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not to mention we have a lot of Southern friends, so. We do know it, it, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't kill me yet. Let me say what I got to <laughs> yeah, say first. They're part of our extended family, last, and they're Southern, so. It's his last final words, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and then Southern there's no more two local. <laughs> we're all standing no here with shotguns to his head. All right, Ray. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ray, Ray. All right, but the two uh, biggest words that I heard was uh, I reckon and I be fixing. Okay. And I said, well, if you quit, if, if you all stop wrecking things, you wouldn't need to be fixing it, now would you? <laughs> and I bet they looked at you as like, this guy's not from around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they said, uh, uh, um, what, what, was the, what was the saying that I heard all the time? And, and you know what? The thing is, is like. Oh, wait. Uh, you you must, you must be a damn Yankee from New York. Everybody's from New York. And I wanna, I'm going to elaborate on that. Um, a lot of people I know that are really deep south, and like you say, nothing against Southerners, but um, 
it's kind of hard to come up with another state when you've been intoxicated. It's like New York. Everyone knows New York. It's like, oh, you're you're from New York. <laughs> and they're like, no, no actually, I don't I'm, even I'm, like New York. I'm, I'm actually from Yankees. like Wyoming, but I like, always think Michigan just because I have step family from Michigan. Michigan, yeah. I think of Ohio. Yeah, nobody ever says yeah. Connecticut because Minnesota. I mean, if you look at our, if you look at the state though, Connecticut, it's like a dot on the map compared to every like fucking. You have like all these big states, and then you look at Connecticut, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, even Tennessee's bigger than uh, Connecticut. Yeah, I, I think it's funny that Massachusetts is like a gun. You look at that. Ma- Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> no, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. But I mean, if I, if I were to pull up a map and you looked at like the different things, Connecticut would be a little dot. We hey, could get the whole state of Connecticut and Tennessee and still have plenty of Tennessee left. Would it bother y'all if I like, took my pants off right now? I'm just fucking kidding. Ray, Ray, Ray's over here. Ray, Ray's over here. Like, oh, jeez. Ray, Ray's over here. Is like, uh, man, I said the wrong southern word. Like, <laughs> He's like, tempo is you over here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> if you went camping and you woke up with a condom in your ass, would you tell anybody? Yeah, they're going to kill me later. They're just not telling me yet. No, we can't kill Ray, Ray. I'd do anything for these people. I really would. They're good people. Nah, you know what? I, I make fun of you. I make fun of everybody. Our extended family to us. <laughs> I make people. I make fun of people in Connecticut. I don't. Oh yeah. Shit. I make people. <laughs> you make people. How many people do you, you have? Make? A, do, you have a, do you have a factory for and that? Do you make or? people often? <laughs> do you just like? It's like, mm, I think I'm gonna make somebody. Do you just shit them out or something? It's like, fuck robotics. I'm making people. <laughs> Google, you ain't got shit on us. <laughs> you can make a robotics. You can make a nice little no, eyeglass. Actually, he's in the bathroom, and this is what he does. Hold on, man, honey. I'm shitting out some people now. You, you know what? I, I looked at the uh, not to change the subject, but a few months ago. Okay, right. I, I didn't know if they were still on because I that right. fell down. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, a few uh, a few months ago, I uh, I was looking at robotics, right, and it just didn't impress me. The it's kind of hard to impress. The you. reason it didn't impress me, well, maybe because it's uh, you know I got a computer background and everything, but um, they pulled out a mat. Right, they pulled out a mat and they started, you know, they had like these RC cars. They had no RC controllers and they were running it through an app. They ran the cars around through the app and everything. And like to, on your phone? Yeah, to, yeah. The, to the phone. And uh, to a normal person, that would impress them. But with me playing Xbox and playing all kinds of video, I'm not impressed. I mean, it's, I mean you if know. This was 20 years ago, I'm, I'm stoked. To a sense, yeah. I mean, it's it, it's kind of like, wow, you know, I can control this with my phone. But then again, it's like when I was a child, I had a remote that went to this vehicle. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And you know what gets me? When you go somewhere and order food and they fuck it up. Here we go again. I know. What the fuck's up with that shit? Everywhere I go, I think I think it's like they're like tempo. We we know you. We've heard about you, and you're definitely meeting the description with that shaggy ass hair. So uh, we're gonna fuck your food up. So I told him next time we all go out, I'm gonna order his food for him and see if his order actually comes right, just to see for shits and giggles. If you order, would mine, it come wrong? <laughs> and when it comes it wrong, depends where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, no, the thing is, is, I mean, if you order mine and I order yours, I mean, seriously, they would fuck up a salad. I'm serious. I wouldn't be surprised. And you, you just have no I luck. I just None at all. You have no, I mean, I mean, there's such thing as bad luck. You don't even have bad luck. You have no luck. No, no, luck, no at luck at all. all. No. I just wanted to see if it will work. Just out of curiosity, just for shits and giggles. Hell, I've had my salad fucked up before. Yeah. That pisses me she, off. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, all the time, she, she'll tell them. No cheese. And it comes out with, like, extra cheese. She asked for extra uh, ranch. I won't even ask for extra ranch at the time. I'll just tell them ranch, and they bring me my salad. Then I'll be like, can I get some extra ranch? Yeah, well, That way they don't confuse the two. Yeah, well, they they, they do. They yeah, they fuck do. it up. Stupid. I mean, hey, and you, listen, this is the thing. You know, and, and, and for the listeners out there, it's like, well, you know what? I, and if you work at a fast food restaurant, 
nothing against you. By all means. I'm jealous of those that even... work in a fast food restaurant in Seattle, Washington. It's not even <laughs> just the rest fast food restaurants. It's a regular restaurant. We were at a sit-down dinner. Wow, you're us. fucking loud. Shut up. The five of us were sitting at a sit-down it's because meal. because you're beside her. And we were in a nice <laughs> restaurant, and they still fucked up Tempo's food. Yeah, they the did. fuck? But, hey, this, listen, no shit. Get I your mean, head on straight, people. <laughs> is there not a test? I, mean, I know it's, we're like but, but, running in a fucking loop right now. But At Sonic, you have to you have to do a test. It's like a math test at Sonic. Shit, they need to so start I doing like, like a pickle test. And yeah. a I, 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 test. I know at Dunkin' Donuts they hire people that don't know how to make coffee. I don't like Dunkin' wow. Donuts coffee. No, 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 no. I'm dead serious. Drinks. If you go out to the, you know, I'm not going to say which one and I hate to, you know, put like, you know, marketing. We're not going to put them on blast, but we're not, oh. not going to tell you anything else either. But, so. uh... I swear they don't drink coffee. They don't know how to make it. They don't know how to make it. They don't know how to make it. I mean, it, I'm not. They'll I'm make not. iced I mean, coffee and they'll make it. It tastes like it sat in the pot for the whole day. I mean, I'm not really a big coffee fan, anyways. I don't. I don't really drink coffee. Well, I, I don't go to the other one. I the, drink beer. The one with the star, either. No. Yeah, I, like I hate that fucking place. I don't oh go there God. because it's too fucking expensive. For I was about to say, who it the is, fuck? But I like the one with the chocolate chip in it. Hey, the, the, no shit, and and I'm glad we started talking coffee. about this place. But the thing is, you, oh my god, and it was on. I, I do a lot of surfing on the internet. I do a lot, but the thing, the thing is, they have like, like you know, they get their regular menu, okay, and you can like choose your add-ins and everything else. Well, this made like national news. This guy had a hundred and fourteen dollar coffee. For what huh? he had at it, yes, I swear. Are you fucking kidding? Wow. Me? No, I'm not I kidding. I get an ice he took, chip or something. He ridiculous. took a picture of it. Yeah, he wanted all these add-ins, right? I don't know if he wanted to be like publicized or if he was working with them to like you know put publicity out for that company or what. Oh, right. I, I mean seriously, a hundred dollar coffee. Wow. I would tell him take that coffee and shove it somewhere. I mean, I can get some crack and a good blowjob for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, God. really. And a couple extra chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Good God! But uh, but seriously, if you ever want to fuck with them, which I'm saying, do not do this at home. We're suggesting it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Make sure you order a. Oh, make sure you don't order a hazelnut light and sweet at the Star Company. Hazelnut light and sweet. They're they're gonna love you. I don't. They don't coffee, even know what that I'm about is. To go do this. They they don't even know what it is. Hmm. So if you ask them what what it is, a little it's fucking like... pixie dust. <laughs> They're like, "What? You got a chicken feather back there? Because I want the rest of the chicken." And, and it, and it doesn't something. matter if you're down south, up north. It doesn't matter. Really, they have no. I want to know something. No is idea. there motherfucking coffee beans made of gold? Hey, what was that? The bucket list. It must for six dollars a cup. The the bucket list. Um, With the coffee, it's made out of bat poop. Made? No, was it bat shit or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like this oh. expensive, y'all have y'all seen the bucket list? No. I think I've asked. God, we we'll have to bring a movie over for what, that. Uh, what's even fucked more fucked up? Not to cut you off, but I'm good at that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Is the fact that not only do they charge six dollars for a fucking cup of coffee, mm-hmm. right? Not only do they charge six dollars, but then they make you make your own. Wait a minute. I gotta pay to make my own. You gotta pay six dollars to make your own. So I drive out to your establishment. I get out of my car. I walk through your door. At the star? Are you talking and, about? And and they're anti-gun as well. Uh, well, you just lost Tempo's business. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really like a big, uh, <clears throat> you know. Well, I've fan. never gone to this. Well, yeah, because I mean, you can. The only way I've ever heard of you making your own is basically telling them what you want in it. Hey, and but you know what? It. You know what really pisses me off? Like you go to these these fast food restaurants, and yeah. then like generally now, like ninety percent of them, you you get your own beverage, right? Yeah. The what really that, pisses me off the ones in Seattle, the ones that are still behind like the counter. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this. I'll, I'll say it. Hell, fuck, I'm not advertising. Wendy's, Wendy's, wake the fuck up. I mean, everyone else is, is doing this, but you're the only special motherfuckers that don't. Because uh, they're have... still on that red bus. Ah, yeah, they're on that red bus. No. <laughs> not the one bus. 
Good God. Oh, I can't say it like that either. And then you go out, and then you go up there, and you're like, do you want more ice? No, uh, actually, I'm still like uh, three quarters away full, so that's why I'm back up here four minutes later. Um, <laughs> you can actually get rid of some ice. Uh, <laughs> sir, we, we can't do that. Well, we no, uh, well I'll tell you what. Um, no more ice. Fill my drink up. I go to the damn table. Snow's like, well, you you, you need anything else? I'm like, hold on. Take two sips. Yep, I'm empty. Oh, good God. Like, fuck, what What the fuck is the point of that? They want you to I tell them no ice. Uh, you ever, calories in their food. You ever, food. you ever go to a bar and order a drink and it's all fucking watered down? Yeah. Yeah, I have. It sucks. I, I try to just drink beer. That's pretty much what well, I, what I, I do. Well, we to eat that night. That mud, that mud, mud slide, slide right? Had, yeah. It was watered down. Mudslide. You know what I think of mudslide? There was no alcohol in it, hardly. Someone had diarrhea and shit themselves. <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't, I'm not oh, like man, vulgar, dude, but I'm, 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 but hey, it looked good. It looked like it good was. diarrhea in a bottle. Like, I, I, I mean, it did. My oh, oh. Spot cherry lemonade was pretty good, too. Yeah, Snow was really feeling that. All right. Well, rewind moment. Rewind. Okay. okay. Um, What I was trying to say before, before we got like wrapped up in 500 million other conversations. During the same show. Hey, we're partying, so. Is, uh, some people are like, all right, well, you're funny. Why don't you be on, like, uh, you know, why don't you join, like, an FM radio? And I'm like, why don't you give me the $50,000 a month to join the FM radio? It costs so much. It's and, ridiculous. But the thing, and, you, and people always bitch. And, and, and I'm one of them that do it. And you would have just gave me a $500 fine. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck them. Take oh. your $500 fine and shove it somewhere. Oh, well, there's a $1,000. Up your They're fucking not, ass. No. How's that? Like, in all, all reality, listen. Um, Okay. If you look at the radio and look at when the radio started, there wasn't an, a, there wasn't, there wasn't an FM. It was strictly it was AM. AM. Okay. And then FM started, like, to come around because there's a different genre of music. Okay, and then the AM was like, well, we're not going to accept that. I mean, look, we're, we're not going to, like, let the Beatles, like, rock out on their electric guitar. That's, that's Satan. No. So, FM. Either way you look at it, it costs a lot of money to do that. And that's why you hear so many advertisements. Yeah, I'm serious. Exactly. And there's one fucking advertisement I fucking hate. And I hear the shit on the radio all the fucking time. And I hope this son of a bitch is listening. He's, oh my god. He's, I'm running low. I'm out of it. Come on down here. Come on. Help me out. Shit. I'm stuck in a bind. During, during like the fall. You you know what I'm talking about. Hold on. We you, own you, the bind. No, not that one. Oh. <laughs> that's the other that's one. That's what you're talking about. No, the one that's like I can only say, and it's in the fall, like it's 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 like Halloween. I can only say forty two zombies. If your car's a zombie, come on down here. Hell, I'll help. You. I'll help you. Oh, come on now, come on down. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude, like, what the hell you been smoking? What, what the hell you on? You, you want my car or do you want <laughs> me? Dude, I, I mean, know. Is I this could, dude on some serious crack or what? I mean, I could, I could, I could trade my, my body in for like a new car as long as you don't like touch my body. But, <laughs> I mean, is that, is that even like possible? No, no, it's not. So stop fucking making that advertisement, you stupid fuck. Good God. And Tippo said that. So you can get at me at one brother, brother one at gmail.com. There we go again. <laughs> As I almost took my soul out on poor Ray Ray. Anyways. Again, Temple made me laugh. <laughs> All right. Well, Ray Ray's got to go take a piss. Ray Ray, 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 Ray be take right a... back after Ray this Ray piss. Out. Hey, here's another sound. <sighs> it's a sound nice of a Nice sound, beer. ain't it? That's a sound of a beer. Freedom. Freedom. Ray Ray. 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 Ray Come Ray. back, Ray Ray. Ray Come Ray. back, Ray Ray. Ray Ray, I'm rich. Rich, I'm rich. Ray Ray, I'm rich. I'm just kidding. All right. So here we are without Ray Ray on the uh, Two Loco. Two Loco Radio. Anyhow. He's trying to piss. He's trying to piss. <laughs> He's trying to piss. Hey, no shit for the listeners out there right now. Have you ever, like, tried to, like, think about, like, how rainbows are actually made? 
They say it's like mist and like what? the sun, rainbows, how rainbows are actually made. It's the light traveling through the rain, the, the moisture, and it's like, it's like, it's the prism, the light prism, prism, or whatever it's called. Light She's trying spectrum. to pronounce spectrum and prism. Yeah. <laughs> She's got it now. Okay. But yeah. It's the light passing through the moisture in the air at a certain angle. But when there's a thunderstorm during the day, there's no rainbow. But after it's over, there's a rainbow. Because the sunshine comes out after it's over. And sunshine. Moisture in the air. I call it mist, but okay. It's moisture. All right. Well, Tempo just learned something. It's moisture. It's not mist. And what is mist? Is mist like a dust or? It's like a fine spray of water. Very, very fine droplets of water. Is water like a heavy moisture abundance. or? See, I guess of all us people. What is water? See, it's water. Is, seems to be low. snow is Liquid. the teacher of all of us. All right, Ray Ray's back. Hey, Ray Ray. Well, we got snow teaching all us uh, special people. She's teaching us how to make rainbows. How to make rainbows. Because <laughs> we're on the red bus. Here. I'm a science nerd. Where you are a science nerd. Huh? You're a science nerd. I am, I know. You are. Ow! There is a close to my leg. Well, and the chair is on my court. It's fine now. It's fine. Space nerd. Here's the thing, though. Hey, are you comfy? Not really. Oh, okay. All right. Why? No, uh, I didn't know. What, what did you do to my chair? Put six tacks in it. Oh, okay. You don't feel that? Oh, and then he put glue Ow! on it. So there your he ass goes. glued he to the chair. He fucking feels it now, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls of all ages. My mom glued <laughs> Your mom did what stuff? You think this is a circus? No, this is too local radio. <laughs> hey, hey, you've listened to some old shows. <laughs> I do. That's good. So, anyway, I, I felt special because as I was leaving, I kept on hearing Ray Ray. Ray Ray, Ray Ray, come back, Ray Ray. I was on repeat. Oh, okay. Yeah, you. Tap, I was saying I missed you. You tap my right knee, and I just keep repeating whatever the fuck I just said. Oh right. Whatever the fuck I just said. Whatever the fuck. I just All said. right, enough. No, she hit the left knee. Oh right. Shuts it off. It's a knee jerk, literally. <laughs> jerk my knee. Have hey. you jerked your knee lately? That sounds really mm. dirty. Here I am playing with this microphone. <laughs> All right, at this point, I think we're gonna play some music. Play, play one song. Just, just make it, make it a good one. All right. Um. No, I don't listen to that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't listen to that one either. No, not that one. Nope, not that one. Well, no. I hear some screaming shit. Nah. Fuck it. Hell yeah, put it on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You wanna go, girl? You wanna go, girl? You wanna go, girl? You wanna go girl? Alright, we're gonna play some screaming shit. Okay. You think I'm kidding. Mother, may I have another one? There you go. I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing with this can of gasoline. Your renaissance Fucked over Never go touching 
push people Will the wave just for comfort But even you realize That your days are numbered Try as you might to pull the knife out my back You wish it in too deep Now the scar reminds me of the facts That you'll never refer to all I wanted The memory's tainted The photo book's haunted Justification Will never be so And I'll be standing above you Just so you know Demons pulling you Straight down It's just fucking paper It's not like it's holy ground Holy ground Here is on Two Loco Radio. Nowhere else but Two Loco Radio. Eyes towards the sky. Try to show compassion. You realize that no one will cry when you get put down. It's just fucking payback. It's not like this. Here is 86.5 Loco. Loco 86.5. We're not gonna join, pull it back of the rack till it pops out of joint. You think you're fooling with this act? I remember when I caught the flat. Tell me, shoot it back on the attack. All the hate you spat is hard to react. Can't adapt to the track, so you're caught in the trap. Of your own lies, you can't take that back. I'm just lucky I saw who you were. Switch to a demon faster than a blur. Only on high alert, now you're oh, My dick's in a blender. Back my words, bitch, you're dead wrong. If you think I won't blast your ass my song. Show the rule too dark for the color spectrum. I guess evil doesn't care how it comes. Knee deep in a chicken. My teeth are falling off! Alright, we're back. We there are was back. There's some asshole named Ray Ray that decided to scream. Uh, well, and we don't know what those other people were. We don't know where they came from. My dick wasn't a blender. Wait a second, I gotta throw the headset on. Put, it, put the headsets on. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's like so much louder. Well, I like it. I like it that way. If it's not loud enough, turn it the fuck up. I thought it was F up. Oh, F standing for fuck. There I got it capitalized. Go. Yeah. <laughs> F as in F U C K. I'm a rich bastard right now. <laughs> no, it's called the head. Uh... Damn rich bastards. Hey, here's a question. Have you ever like scratched a lottery ticket? Everyone's done it, right? Yeah. Have you ever, like, this is something I do. Like, I'll scratch them. And the thing is, before you look at, like, the numbers you got to match, I'll, like, scratch the ones that are below to see if, like, I get that 2X or, like, the jumbo. That way I'm like, oh, God, hell, I don't need to scratch the numbers. I already know I win. No, it never fucking works. All it's right. like, and then I try to, like, scratch the numbers, like, match them. And, I'll, and, and it'd be, like, 31, 17, we'll say 21. So, and it'd be, like, 32, 18, 22, like, it, none of them fucking match. They're, like, one off. Well, you know, I, I'll play, like, Powerball. I won't hit one fucking number. <laughs> no one. I played Scratch hey, I got us a ticket the other day. Tonight. I played a Scratch ticket and uh, didn't win shit. I got us. back got two different ones. Didn't win shit. I got us a ticket. Oh, there you go. To the magic show. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the Wipe magic out. show. Hey, I ain't kidding, man. Does anybody got a quarter? All right, All right fuck it. <laughs> what, we're going to call somebody who cares? <laughs> I think it's like a dollar a minute. Yeah, it's like, it's like a dollar fifty. When I was a kid, there was actually a show called Unless Magic it's like Garden. Magic, oh, Magic Garden, yes. That was the, on like the seventies, late seventies, sometime. I do surf a lot on the internet. I used to come home from kindergarten and watch it. That's how old that show is. Won't you be my neighbor? No, that's Mr. Rogers. Oh, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I couldn't stand Mr. Hey, Rogers. Hey, you know what I always like? I couldn't understand. Every time he came in, he took his shoes off. Yep. And then put a sweater on that same fucking coat rack. And then, like, I'm guessing he, like, walked around on stage, like, barefoot. 
Or no, with he, socks? He put on a different pair of shoes. Oh, when he left? He'd take his shoes off, he'd go over, put them down, and pick up a pair of slippers and put them on. He's like, hello, boys and girls, I just walked through the door. You know, they used to talk about so much crap. These people talk about all these different TV shows. Do you know they used to say Bert and Ernie were gay because they lived together? I love Bert and Ernie. I know. Just because they slept in the Bert same room doesn't mean they're gay. You know, this, this is what... That's how stupid it is. This is what bugged me before. Wait, then the Teletubbies... Wait a second. Supposedly have the, the Teletubbies are fucking gay. It doesn't matter what you say. Um, they're gay. What was the other one? Well, no, Mr. In, Rogers in, in was Europe, supposedly gay. Come on. In, in so Europe, stupid. men do wear pair, purses. Man bags is what they're called. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, I have a man wallet, and it's in my back right pocket. <laughs> I sit on it. I mean, I, I, I mean you know what? Fashion's fashion, right? I mean, it's cool. Like, well, I almost slipped up and said something. But <clears throat> these people that uh, wear these big-ass fucking shirts, like dresses, I call them nightgowns. This was a couple <laughs> of years ago. But, it, it, I mean, they're like tall tees is what, is what they're called. Tall tees. And they're like... 5XL tall tees, and they're like 5'4", and the shit's like dragging the ground. It's like, what what, 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 like, what is that, a dress? You going to prom? What the fuck are you doing? I, I remember when I was a kid, I was not into uh, hip-hop or whatever. You were in this, like what, like some uh, screamo? No, I was like in the screaming shit. Screaming shit. Screaming shit, screaming metal, shit. and you know, you know all, all kinds of shit like that. But uh, I used to call them bass booming rap junkies. I don't know if I would have put the junkie part in there, but I mean, why are they a junkie? Because they they were like huge into the music. That is or, a good point. What, what is a junkie? Someone that someone that has a high interest in a subject. Yeah. Okay, that, all right. That, that's why the you know one of the taglines. I'm a science junkie. A late night munchies for talk radio junkies. Oh God. Well, you know what's funny? Before we That's started... That's a good way to put it there, Ray, yeah, right? So... That's a good fucking way. You know what's funny? When I was a younger, when I was younger, I liked rap. When I got a little older, I didn't like it too much. Then we started doing this show, now I love it. So, all right, but I'm going to do a little Tempo, promo. What are you doing, dude? Uh, Can you hear my brain? Uh, no, I'm going to say I that... Uh, think Tempo's had a little too much beer. All right, so... Have another one, buddy. Hey! Why you keep cutting me off? I'm trying do to do a promo. She's doing? good at that. Do you see what he's doing? I can hear yours. <laughs> All right, but anyway. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I haven't had enough beer yet. So, uh, you know, people that don't know, we got our pictures done not too long ago. Hey, and I really enjoyed that. Thank you for that. I mean, that was, it it was, was, that was very good. And I showed my mother that today, actually. She very, she, she very, very, very well enjoyed those photos. All right. Oh, good. All right. So anyway, you, you know, um, if you need affordable, you know, photography, uh, go to. Hello. <laughs> I'm just we talking. Have a cat hey, here? I'm good at. I'm good at cutting people off. All right. <laughs> go. Go. Uh, for real though, go to Rainy uh, Photography. Yeah. It's she. She is. And it's R A I N E Y. Yeah. Correct. And, uh, somebody let Tempo's cat in here? Wait a second. I'm trying to do a promo over here. What the fuck? Promo. Promotional. You know, and uh, for like, I think it was like 50 bucks plus, you know, the cost of, uh, you know, discs and whatnot. I am kind of pissed. One of them didn't work, but that's fine. All right. It was a good photo still. It, it really yeah, was. Yeah, exactly. But, um, so it's like, you know, $50 an hour. You know, get a shitload of pictures, and there's even a you know a twenty minute special for twenty five. I'm gonna kill him. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. You know, you can go to Rainy's uh, photography uh, located out in Suburban. She she really is a great photographer. She's a she great really photographer is. Photographer and a really nice lady. I mean, you you can get on uh, Facebook there and you look at these photos. They're they're definitely not done with a phone or like some small cheap ass camera. But yeah, exactly. I mean, it's. They're good, and and you know what? And, and at first, I really wanted to ask her, is like, why do you have the flash on? It's daytime, but when I look at the photos where there was flash, and where there weren't, you can definitely tell a difference. I mean, you can see the freckles on my face. It's a good deal. I mean, it's they're real small. But yeah, she, definitely, <laughs> she definitely know what she was doing. That's for sure. She does. Can I get start calling you freckles? Have at it, man. I've I've had worse names. Freckle face. <laughs> 
I've had much worse names. Temple with a freckle. <laughs> Temple with an F. <laughs> it doesn't mean fuck you, it means freckles. <laughs> He's rich and he rides that red bus. <laughs> with them freckles and that curly hair. He is missing his helmet today, but he is looking the window. It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey. Um, the wheels on the bus go square, square, square. Squish. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, no shit. If you had like a chicken, would you like... Wait a minute, everyone's looking at me he's like, uh, Go no. ahead. I was going to say fry, but, I mean, what the fuck are y'all thinking about? I wasn't thinking about nothing. I was just waiting to see what you were going to say. You were thinking about fucking it, weren't you? Were you fisting the chicken? I couldn't fist it. I mean, I might put my pinky in it, but. <laughs> That's what's wrong with my fist. I remember hey. now. <laughs> <laughs> so Snow is trying Tempo to say. We're chasing them chickens. Snow, yeah. Snow is trying to say she shoved her fist up Tempo's ass. <laughs> enjoyed it. First of all, I would was not enjoy any <laughs> fucking knuckle, let alone five of them. I don't know. You got a small hand, though. So. I do have a small hand. You got some nails, though. That'd be a fucking problem. <laughs> it may be like the, the entry may not be too bad, but it, it was pulling it out. Fisting. Well, she, she, oh my God. what she probably did was closed her fist. Scratch, scratch, <laughs> fever! Scratch. She probably just like punched me in the ass when I was asleep and I was like, oh God. And then, like, fell back asleep. The thing is, like, oh, I got a back problem. No, that's why my fucking back hurts. So sorry. Hey, let me tell you all a story. This is a true story. You ready? This may be a little embarrassing, but it's really no, funny. It's not embarrassing. <clears throat> when we first started okay. dating, <laughs> all right, and uh, she got off work, came over and visited me and everything. And, uh, I mean, we didn't, there was no sexual intercourse or anything like that. When we first, I mean, what was it like? Four what was months? It me? Four or five months. It, Three or four months, I mean, before we even tried anything, because that's just how I am. That's how she is. I mean, we're not. That's how we were, too. We don't, we don't do the one night stand shit. But, no. anyways, um, she, <laughs> she came over and, and I mean, we were talking, having a great time, you know, and she got in the bed and then, you know, I started like holding her and everything. And I, I, <laughs> I rolled over. I mean, we went to sleep. I rolled over and her back's against mine. And, uh, she thought that it was a little fart. I and thought my butt was on your back. And it was on no, your No, you thought your butt. your butt was on my butt. Yeah. And she thought it was going to be a little fart. Well, <laughs> that first was of all. Tom Green shit. It, son, this is a true story. <laughs> Brace yourself. Because I'm not even kidding. And the thing is, is like her butt was actually on my back. I'm, I'm about, I don't know, six, seven inches, maybe seven inches taller than her. What are you like? Five? Two? No, oh, yeah, I'm I'm close to a foot. I'm about two inches short, but still, I'm ten inches taller than her. A foot short of a mile. <laughs> but no, the thing is, is she thought her butt was on my butt, and she thought she like it's gonna be a small one, and, like sneak it out, right? And I mean, it had to be sneak like attack. it had to be like kind of embarrassing at first, but now she's like she shits on me. It's like it doesn't matter. It's like. <laughs> I farted. <laughs> it's like, I can smell it. But the thing is, is, her ass was on my back, my lower back. And when she let this one out, like, it rumbled. And, like, I just got out of the military, and I'm trying to adjust. And I'm still having, like, these flashback and nightmares and all this other bullshit. But, I mean, when that shit hit me in the back... Like, I was like, ow! And I rolled out of the bed. No, and he jumped out of the bed. <laughs> I jumped out of the bed. And fell. I fell floor. down on the floor, and I'm holding my back. I had to go to the doctor. She slipped a fucking disc. Did not. Yes, you did. Oh, I slipped did a it. disc in my back. I still got a knot. You can feel it right here. Snow, put your hand right here. Put your spine? No, right here. Right here. Yeah, I didn't fart there, though. Feel, yeah, you did. Here. Yeah, you did. All right. Right from when you fell out of bed, It man. doesn't. Anyways, I, you know what? And the thing is, is, this may sound kind of crazy and, like, odd, but when that happened, I was like, damn, this girl's special. <laughs> wow. It's like she's got some fucking talent. <laughs> I bet if I put a balloon up to her ass, she'll fill it all the way up. <laughs> helium, bitches. And then you, then, no, and then you sell it as helium, but they're actually, like, sucking in your ass hairs. Like, <laughs> Oh, God, I love this shit. How, where do you, like chicken. Like, where do you get this shit from? Why does it taste like shit, man? Um, well, you can smell my other finger and figure that out. But. 
Hey, but no, I tell you what, this has been a good show, and um, I think we're running a little low on the B double E R. Might have to go do a B double E R U N. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. All right, we're gonna Did have you say another... deer. Yeah, idea. 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 I have a list. You have a problem with it? No idea. She said it too. Idea. Idea. Is idea. that a northern thing? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Idea. idea. Do you, what did you say now? Idea. But you said idea before. Because I was trying to do what he said. Oh. Is an <laughs> idea or idea? Doesn't matter. Idea of an idea? Or, All right. Depending but, on where you're from. But anyway. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to catch the next show, too damn bad, check out uh, Button Road 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. That's the Button Road Show. ButtonRoads.com. And look for two local radio. That's going to be the next show. You're not going to hear it tonight. You will hear it on Thursday morning. There we go. All right. You're going to have to get it then. But for this show, this is Ray Ray. And this is Tempo with a T. And this is Chrissy D. And this is Snow. And as I always do, I'd like to thank the men and women that are serving, that have served, and most especially the ones that did not make it back. And God bless to them all. See you, wouldn't want to be you. Night, y'all. <laughs> and Snow says night, y'all. Peace, motherfucker. Peace, motherfucker. Peace! Twice.